Hey there, photography is an art. By the way, the overall look of a photo mostly depends on the light source. It's better to use RGB soft lights while taking photos of products or parts to get better result. So I decided to make one RGB LED softbox for photography and here it is. You can change the color and adjust the brightness of the color using the buttons. Here are some samples of photos that I took with this RGB light. This is the first part of the video. In this video, I am showing how I designed and made this RGB matrix. Now, let's get started with this video. So first I tested the circuit on the breadboard and I made necessary modification. Here you can see I used Arduino Nano for testing. After verifying the circuit using ECEDA, I made this schematics. Here is the circuit. I used ESP12V as the microcontroller. This is the ESP12V standalone circuit. Then you can see the three push buttons and then the power section. Now the pins for ESP12V programming and finally the 16WS2812 RGB LEDs. Then I converted this circuit into a PCB. Here is the design PCB. You can see the arrangements. I placed the LEDs on the top side of the PCB and the components on the bottom side. Now to fabricate the PCB, I downloaded the GURB file and went to jlcpcb.com for PCB fabrication. They offer only $2 for 5 PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. Now they also started Roger PCB and PTFB PCB fabrication. To order, click on order now and select the GURB file. After uploading the Gerber file, we can select the quantity, thickness, color, etc. Here I select the black color. After that, I place the order. After two weeks, I received the PCBs from JLC PCB. Here are our PCBs. The PCB looks very nice and the quality is superb. Now let's solder these components to the PCB. First I soldered all NeoPixel to the PCB. Here I used normal soldering iron for soldering. After soldering the NeoPixel LEDs, I soldered the other SMD components. After finishing that, I inserted the push buttons and soldered. Our PCB looks something like this after completing the soldering. Now I clean the PCB and that's it. In the back side, you can see the TP4056 section. Here I shorted the leads because now we are using the USB cable for power. Now let's program. You can see the pins for programming here, but I am going to use my ESP12V programmer to upload the code to ESP12V. So I just hold the programmer above the ESP12V and upload the code. You can download the code from my website. The link is given in the video description. After uploading the code, you can see the working of the circuit. We can adjust the brightness and change the color. In the next part, I will show you how to control this with your smartphone and also I will make a decent enclosure. So that's all about today. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you. Thanks for watching. I will see you with another video.